Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have another haul for you guys. Um, this is a thrift store haul, plus I'm going to show you some items that I picked up at a new thrift store that I found. So excited. And also a couple of things from an estate sale that I happened to stop by. Um, sorry, I have not uploaded a video. <laughs> um, for y'all, I have uh, been so busy. The holidays and all that is just nuts. I'm sure all of you are busy too. So I'm so excited to show you all of these things. I have been wanting to film this for a while now. Um, so let's just get into it. So the store that I went to is called Pennywise and they are a local thrift store to my area. I believe there's about three or four locations. Um, I really love this thrift store because they kind of give back, or not kind of, they do give back to women that have been affected by domestic violence. So they help them with jobs and counseling and things like that. So that's really important to me. So I really love that that thrift store does all of that. They also have really great sales. So um, my favorite days to go to this thrift store are Thursdays and Sundays. Um, Thursdays they do this sale which is thrift it's called thrifting Thursday so basically um, you go in and you can purchase one of these totes um, it's their store tote for three dollars and then you fill it you can buy as many totes as you want but you fill this tote with whatever and you get it half off so it is amazing because you can get um, clothing items for like a dollar fifty or shoes um, all the shoes are different prices so you can get shoes for two bucks four bucks things like that accessories anything you can fit in this bag so it is my favorite you can buy as many bags as you want um, on this particular day I just did one bag and I filled it with a lot of amazing things and I'm telling you I filled it to the brim it was insane. I couldn't even carry it with the straps because it was so heavy and ridiculous that I had to lift it up and put it on the counter in order to check out. So my bag is destroyed now because I've had it on the floor and we just got a new dog and he chewed the straps. So I'm going to have to buy a new bag. Um, you can see he kind of like chewed it and then this other strap is completely destroyed. So it's just lovely but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just pull out things at random and show you what I got in this bag. And let's just see. So the first item is this very cute, uh, kind of like mini tote style purse. I love, um, the handles, especially their, um, that Lucite material and it's the tortoise color. I just think it's super cute. It's like really nice for a casual outfit. Like if you're wearing like jeans or even a nice outfit with slacks, it would just look really cute with that pop of brown amber color with these handles. Um, and it is like that mini tote style. It's in perfect condition and it's from the brand uh, Mariko Dallas. So this apparently is a really nice um, high-end brand. Uh, I really, really love it. And I got it for four bucks, so love this one. The second item is going to be, oh, my stuff's fallen. The second item in the bag are going to be these amazing wide leg pants. I just love the colors on these. They are perfect, kind of like a transitional pant for springtime and fall because you've got your pops of like pale pink, yellow, teal. There's a red and black. I just think these are super cute. They're really flowy and again, they're wide leg, really high waisted. They have like a stretchy elastic waistband and they have um, belt loop holes. They're very comfortable. I just think they're super adorable. I love the way they feel on. These would look super cute with like some chunky um, like platform shoes and a nice belt. And like you could pair this with any color solid top and a blazer or even a denim jacket. I just 
love these pants. So the third item is going to be these gingham, gingham style pants um, or checkered, whatever you wanna call it. Um, these are vintage. So these are by the brand Cape Cod Sportswear. Um, they are a size 18. So remember y'all, when you're thrifting and you're looking at pants especially, um, don't pay attention to the number on the tag because a lot of times, especially with vintage clothing, the number doesn't really match uh, what you are or what your size would normally be. So one trick that I've learned, and I kind of, you know, will probably say this in every video, um, but it's a good trick, good tip for y'all while y'all are out there thrifting, pants especially, is if you take the pants and if you take them around your neck and you're able to touch the two ends, then nine times out of 10, they will fit your waist. So, these are stretchy and they do touch so they're not super like tight on me or anything i love the stretchy waistband and they are very high-waisted super cute love that they're that checker pattern it is black and white so again you could pair this with so many things they are a nice statement pant they have pockets and i just love them all right y'all so these next few items are probably going to be my most favorite out of this whole entire haul um because as i was looking through the pants section that's i would say one of my top three favorite spots to look at while i'm thrifting is because you can find so many great pairs of pants uh vintage pants uh, newer modern style pants that are just in great condition and they're just awesome you know I feel like statement pants are really in these days and especially ones that you can pair with like graphic tees or just kind of plain tops because it adds that just pop of something to your outfit and it's just it just looks cool so these are amazing so this is the first pair that I got and they're sort of um cropped on me so i'm five five and they hit right at the ankle which is like the perfect length i just absolutely love it they're stunning and the condition that they're in is amazing so um the first pair is this sort of like pale yellow navy baby blue cream colored um pair they're in amazing vintage condition they're the perfect size. They're just awesome. I'm obsessed. This is the second pair. So these are kind of like the same color scheme, but instead of like that pale yellow, yellow, they have like a dark brown, but same fit. Um, it doesn't, this is the only pair that had a brand and they're by the brand, The Gallery by Hagar. They fit awesome. I love the tailoring. Um, they have that kind of like a uh, creased line down the center of the leg, which is a very slimming effect. Love it. They're not like extremely high-waisted, but they're, they are, you know, high-waisted enough <laughs> to cover that area, if you know what I mean. So fantastic, fabulous. And here is the third pair. I love these so, 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 so much. They're like a light brown tan. Um, just amazing, you guys. Um, I love, like they're really great quality. Like the stitching and just the quality of the fabric, the buttons, the zipper. I mean, they're vintage, y'all, and they've lasted this long. And whoever had them just kept them in great condition. Uh, there's no stains, no rips, no holes, at least on this, on these three. And so super excited for these. I love them so much. So we're still grabbing out of the bag. So I got another vintage blazer. So this one is by Sag Harbor. It's the Prophecy Collection. Um, another thing with blazers or sizing in general, so sizing, again, don't focus so much on the sizing. Like if you see it says petite and you don't normally wear petite, still 
My thing is that if I see something I like, if I touch it and I like the fabric, I like the pattern, I'm still going to grab it and put it in my cart because I can try it on and worst case scenario, it doesn't fit, doesn't look great, whatever. I can see if someone else might like it or I just don't take it at all. So this is a size six petite and it fits me amazingly. So it is that cute houndstooth print black and white okay and again it is a size six petite you guys so, so it just fits great but the button even the button has like great little detail on it it's just really classy looking this would look super cute with denim or with some black leggings love it love it so much and then the last clothing item i got is this vintage Liz Claiborne sweater vest. Um, sweater vests are really popular right now, just super on trend. Um, so I was, I'm always on the lookout for them because they're just so cute. You can throw them on top of a button up, a denim button up. They're just really, really cute. So this Liz, Clay, Liz Claiborne one is stunning. Um, it's sort of like a, a golden, cream color it's really nice it's kind of oversized which is okay it's a size extra large but i just i love it so much it's gorgeous so <laughs> i had all of this stuff stacked in this bag and then i just so happened to wander over to like the dishes section so one thing about this thrift store that i really love is that they have everything uh laid out nicely kind of like goodwill does so it's all sectioned out um you know in its own place and they have their dishes and they're all kind of the same price so the dishes normally i think the plates are a dollar and you know if i can fit it in the bag on a thursday then it becomes 50 cents so when i'm looking for dishes um i have a thing for vintage coffee mugs and plates so i probably have an unnecessary amount of both of those things because it's like I feel like I'm never gonna see them again, so I like have to have them. Uh, I've kind of calmed down because I'm probably driving my husband nuts, but I saw these plates and I knew I had to have them. So they're just absolutely stunning. I'm really excited and I love them so much. So my favorite color is orange. I think I said that in the last video, but my favorite color is orange. So these of course caught my eye aren't they gorgeous they're beautiful they are the vintage tupperware by lennox um the fire flower collection and they're just absolutely stunning like oh my gosh aren't they beautiful they are gorgeous and so i got seven of them for 50 cents a piece and they're heavy i mean it's a big stack of plates so I was like, I am not letting this sale go to waste on these plates. So I just kind of shoved them on top of the clothes and was like, I'm going to pick this bag up on the counter and I will get these plates for 50 cents. So yes, so excited for my plates. So yeah, that's all that I stuffed in the bag. Now, when you check out, another great thing about this thrift store is that if you spend $5, eat, for every $5 you spend, they kind of let you grab a free gift off of two tables. Sometimes it's just one, um, but in this case, they had two. They let you grab a free gift off of the table. And so the lady was like, I think I spent 30 bucks in total. And so she's like, you can grab five gifts. And I was like, okay, but, I mean, I try to be careful with how much things I bring home. So I saw this ribbon, this really nice craft ribbon, and I figured this would be really cool to like wrap my packages in when I'm shipping things out. So I've got orange, of course, and this pretty like floral one. So I mean, hey, it's free. These are brand new. They're pretty old, it seems like, um, but yeah 
really nice. Usually they have like kitchenware or mugs, things like that, that you can just grab for free if you spend $5. So yeah. Okay, so now I want to show you guys a couple of things that I picked up at an estate sale that um, my husband and the kids and I happened to roll by on a Saturday. I went in there and they had so much stuff. They had a lot of stuff. Um, in every room a lot of kitchen things, but I wanted to be quick So the first area that I like to hit in an estate sale is the kitchen um, again with my coffee mug and my plate addiction and just you know fascination with kitchen items um, I like to go through the kitchen first so I was looking at all the mugs and I did pick up two mugs so the first one is going to be this one. There was two of them, but the other one was had a fairly large chip in it. So I was like, you know, what? I'll just grab one and it's really pretty. It's it's vintage. And I want to say this is the Corel brand, but I just love that kind of boho print on it. I think it's so cute. I love it. Very cute. The next one is going to be this one. This is kind of like a goblet style mug, but I just, I love it. I love anything floral. I'm obsessed and it has the initials JG like carved into the uh, cup itself. Um, haven't done any research on that, but I can tell it's pretty old, but I really love it. It's super pretty, very nice. And the last item I got from there was this really awesome leather vest with like a paisley sort of like um silky back to it this does seem pretty old um just by the way that the leather looks in the style it's got a stretchy you know back to it i think this would look super cute over a t-shirt or even um a sweater or a, a denim button up top love it it's like that really cool boho feel it's super cute yeah so those are the only uh things that i found at that estate sale i just didn't have a whole lot of time there's just so much stuff and i just went into the kitchen first and then i did go into each bedroom um and then i found this in one of the closets so and there was kind of a lot of people in there too but anyways so last but not least, there are some items that I found at a new thrift store that I stopped by. I had been wanting to go into, but I just hadn't made it there yet. Um, it looks very like sketchy from the outside. It's called Restoration Thrift. It's um, owned by a church, like a local church, and um, it just doesn't look like you want to go inside. Um, it doesn't look like a Goodwill or even like a Pennywise or any one of your bigger, you know, bigger name thrift stores, if you would. But usually those are the places where you can find like the best things and the best prices too, because they get so much stuff donated to them and they, they don't have enough space a lot of times. So I went in there, um, it was, we had just left the estate sale, so the whole family was with us, and my husband was like, just go in. And so, went in there, and the lady that was working that day was super sweet. She was really nice and inviting, and just, you know, very happy, and I love that. I love a good vibe. You know, I love everyone to be just like friendly, and you know, because sometimes it can be a little weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, Anyways, it was a good vibe. So she had tons of stuff everywhere, like floor to ceiling, stuff everywhere. There was no way that it would take me, you know, one trip to see everything. So I kind of just skimmed through and found some really good pieces and, you know, told her I would be back. And this is probably one of my new favorite stores. Um, so yeah, this is a purse that I found. Um, this is probably my favorite thing that I found. She had a wall full of purses and this caught my eye. It is gorgeous. Turns out it is from the 60s. It is vintage, um, real leather. It has this really nice brass clasp. Um, 
very big and open on the inside super just chic love it so much i don't know if this is the original uh strap it doesn't seem like it is to be quite honest but it does match pretty nice this looks like a strap from um a louis vuitton purse or just some other high-end brand it is leather it is really good quality but i just don't think it's the original strap that goes with this with this purse but it is still amazing the next item that i got is this vintage western pearl snap shirt this is by the brand cumberland outfitters um, it is a woman's top, super cute. I love Western aesthetic as well, especially like vintage Western, obsessed. I love the horses. I love that Aztec detail and the pearl snaps, very cute. I found this amazing uh, Wrang vintage Wrangler pearl snap. Love the denim on this, love the shades of blue. It's got that Western yoke uh, stitching. Love this so much. Super, super cute. The last item I got is this Ralph Lauren. It's a vintage Ralph Lauren um, fly fishing shirt. It says it's a size 1X. It fits like a large. It's really cool. It's like this, not corduroy, but I mean, it's really soft, but I just love all the stitching detail and like the cute little buttons and zippers. Um, it's got some cute little pouches right there. It's just really cute. Love it with some boots, super cute. Well, that is it for the haul. If you have any questions about any of these items, if you have any questions about thrifting, please comment below. Go give me a follow and like this video and stay tuned for more hauls and more tips on thrifting. Bye y'all.